Hey everybody, just uh, heading her down to Victoria. There's a McCullough that needs a home. Uh, thanks to Matt Tuplin, he, uh, he comes. But uh, either way, he's a hell of a guy, and, and he was keeping a lookout for me on that. And uh, it's a good thing because uh, it's happening. We're going down to grab it. Uh, it hasn't been running a while. It's a glorious day to drive the Jeep. Uh, it hasn't been running a while. A fella said that it uh, had been drained of gas and sat for quite some time. So, sounds like a job for Buck and Billy Ray. My, my plan is, there's the sun. My plan is, is to uh, build a really nice little hot rod uh, 1010. And uh, and also uh, an 850 or you know an 80 cc saw, which could be my Super Pro 81. Me and Bobby are gonna we're gonna investigate these little things. And, and oh shame that our Arbutus is dying. That's a shame. Um, yeah, so that's our plan. Uh, Matt, again, buddy, uh, uh, tough one. I, I super appreciate it. So uh, that's wonderful. It is Monday, I think it's the 1st of August, I think. Talk to you guys in a bit. By the way, this Jeep, we put a, uh, an NP, a new process tranny from a 69 uh, pickup in it, four. Wonderful. Um, it was a Novat conversion. So we've gained lots. We've gained a low end because this tranny. Holy smoke, Raven. Um, this tranny was it's it, it was it was a piece of poo poo. Actually, it was they had no right putting that tranny in this Jeep. It was a car transmission. It was a, uh, I don't even know what it was. I think it was a five speed, but, but it was terrible, weak. Anyhow, uh, NP435, I mean, I forget the numbers right now. Uh, old truck tranny. So, it's in there now. It's wonderful. So, so what we gained was a crawling gear because these are full load trannies where the other one wasn't. So now we've gained a bit of a crawler and uh, and the rear end gears are tall so I can fly down the highway. So really it was a, a, a wonderful uh, swap. Wonderful. Just thought I'd slap you with that one. I, just thinking about it. It's running great. The, the, the six cylinder is, is wonderful. It's the original 258 and it's running great. Really good. I love an inline six. Well, on. So we're rolling down the famous Malahat Drive. It's it's one of the uh, one of the most dangerous uh, uh, stretches of highway uh, apparently in the world. That is what I was told. Uh, lots of accidents and deaths here, but it's. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's, uh, we're going through an old growth patch of timber here now. It's called Gold Street Park. Hi friends, how are we today in this glorious, glorious day? Get serious, Bucket. Now, here we are. So, this power saw that I just picked up, I've got probably, well, I got a few of these now. Look at. There's spider webs inside the... I was thinking about that song of mine that I'm writing, me and my McCullough. I'm, I've been, I've been, I've been, I'm getting closer. I was driving down to Malahat. It's about an hour drive, a little more than an hour drive. So I was thinking about um, the second verse. It's coming. So I should have that for you guys. Uh, not soon because it, it's a process. You know, when you're writing a song, you got, you got the groove to think about. You got the drum track, the guitar, the, the rhythm of the tune. I call it the groove. You got to find the groove. 
which I showed a little bit of that on the channel already. So it's coming and, and I'm going to enjoy that writing out. It's going to be fun. But but here's the saw, friends. Here, here it is. It, it's, you know, it, it, it's an old McCullough. It, it, it looks to me that, you know, he, he's probably had what I noticed right away. I'll show you is, uh, is this. Look. So it's got compression. Look at it. It's just hanging there. So, so this is a good thing, but um, th there's no bolts on the bottom of the muffler. I'm just gonna put you guys down just a sec. There we go. So there's no bolts, but it's got the old square handle. Look at you guys. You know the old square handlebar, the one that goes choo, choo, straight down. So she's an oldie, like. But it's, it's quite nice, okay? Eh? It's quite nice. It, uh, he said the guy ran it, but there's no bolts in the muffler. The muffler's right out. The starter sounds good. The gas tank is empty and clean. The filter's beautiful. But... <laughs> we'll see. I got a good feeling. So, I'm gonna get a coffee. It is a glorious day out of it. So I'm gonna go into Timmy's and get a coffee here. And then I'm gonna hit the highway back to home. And, uh, and probably get into this power saw. See if we can't get it flashed up. All right, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. I just stopped for a couple of seconds here. Uh, this is this is the Malahat. Uh, it's kind of the summit here. This is the Malahat summit. And there's the Jeep. Here's our totem pole for the day. Salish bear pole. Pretty cool. My, uh, all our history here is basically First Nation, Vancouver Island. BC, really, Canada. Man, it's nice out. Geez, the old truck's running great, eh? Just tick, boom, fires right up. I love this old thing. All right, back on the road. Let's see how she does. It just runs. It is beautiful down in here. We're down at, uh, you guys have not met this man yet, but he's a, he's a gentleman that uh, is a man after my own heart. He, he's a power saw man. And he's not just a, 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 a you know, guy who likes power saws. He actually is a, is a power saw. He takes them right down bare bones. This is his little dungeon he's got. Uh, he, he actually reminds me a lot of me. And, and so here's his little shop. Matt, are you in here? Hey, there he is. How you doing? This is Matt. You guys have heard me talk to Matt. I call him Mac because he finds me Max. Good to see you. Well, you don't have to do it. Oh, no, no. Good to see you, brother. Good to have you. Yeah. So, so uh, I'm just still on my run back from Victoria, guys, with my Mac, that little uh, 1010. So, but I stopped by Matt's place because um, he, uh, because I done that home light, I've been wanting to get a 76, an, X, an XL 76 for a while. And Matt, as you can see, I'll guy. just show Matt. You don't mind me showing? he's got uh, he, he's got some beautiful home lights um you know he's got the xl12 but his pride and joys his pride and joys Those two are, out front, yeah. are, are are out front and they're the you know the the xl uh, the 76s and he's just and, and there's a 130 there matt too yeah. and he's got a 130 which is actually very similar it's kind of similar to what mac mac did with the 1010 and the 1010s and the 1010 pro mac and that it's the same saw and here they are here you see that XL76, it's 58 cc's, you know, 58, beautiful. And here's a Super 30, a uh, 130, sorry, XL130. And they're just, they're just good looking saws. Like, I mean, look at it from the side, friends. You know what I mean? They just, they really, they're long and sleek and, 
I, I, I've, uh, you know, home light, I look, I like the look of a good looking saw and these are that, aren't they, Matt? They sure are. Oh, yeah. yeah, so Matt, Matt's been after these. So anyways, we're just horsing around. We're putting some fuel line in. Matt's really good with this stuff as well. He's way ahead of my, uh, my expertise. He tears them right down and I wouldn't go that far, but well, I, I know a thing or Well, you know, you know things more in other areas than I do. Let's say that. We'll go with that. Like, he tears stuff right down. So, but Buck and Billy Ray's hot on his tail, I'll tell you. <laughs> I love this. I love hanging with guys that it's all about power saws. So, anyhow, here's this little, this little one we got in Victoria, friends. Uh, Matt's trying to get a little 76 together for me. He's I, He jumped out of his day here. I showed up on his doorstep, so... He's just jumped into action. And that's what I love about uh, true loggers, you know. They just, they're there to help. And, and, and Matt's, Matt's like that. So that's why we hang out. We, we did a deal a long time ago, me and Matt. Uh, well, not that long ago. But the first deal we done, we just knew. It, it, you know what I mean? We've done four, five, six deals. Hey, now Matt, we just, it's one of those things. There's no, there's no issues. It's like, it always ends up, he's happy, I'm happy. Better get a shot of the old. Oh, I, I was too dark in there. I was waiting for you to grab that. Look at this thing Matt's got. So, Matt, what is this? Tell us it's, what this is. This is a 900G gear drive. She's a 900G with a big beaver tail on her. Yeah, she's a, she's a beast, this one here. It, well, look at the chain, friends. Organ chain. Organ's been around a long, long time. Yes, look at is. this monster. Yeah, there ain't no fooling around. This is, uh, separates the men from the boys, this guy. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, does this particular machine make any noise, Matt? This one, I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I'm sure you can only imagine with a port like that. Well, look at it. Look at this thing. This is, uh... The gear drives, me and Bob Walker, we just did it. I did an interview with Bob Walker the other day. Yeah. And it, we were just talking about the gear drive, the switch from gear drive to... Uh, uh, to, to, to direct drive. Yeah. What a neat looking power saw that is. She's a beast. Isn't that dandy? I'll make sure you're around when I get her fired. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, do. We'll do a little number on it. Definitely. Yeah, we'll put that on the channel. That's wonderful. So, so the home light, people who like the home lights, you know, I've been kind of delving into that a little bit. And, and the Pioneers, I've always liked too. So, it's just I've been heavy on the Max, as we all know. And that'll never change. Anyway, uh, I'm going to actually see what I can get going with this Mac. I've, it, it sat, you know the beautiful thing about this gentleman? If you can see in there, when I bought this saw, you guys, there's not a thing. He actually drained the, the gas tank. He drained it. You know what I'm going to do? I got spark. I know that. I'm actually going to drop a little gas down the carb right now while you guys are sitting here with me and just see if we can get some racket. Let's do it. You had that primer, Matt, didn't you? Yeah. Let's give this a little drink just because. Matt, would you mind tossing a little fuel in this in this uh, gas tank for us, just so if it goes, it'll it'll hang on. Just a little. Let's give it a drink. Thank you, partner. All right. Shall we see, friends? I got a feeling. I know there's spark. Mind you, it's been a long time, friends. I don't know. It is a Mac, though. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good start. That's a good start, but I got a feeling the the uh, the diaphragm is uh, going to be problematic. Oh, it's the old turn, the old turn choke. Yeah, probably a diaphragm issue. I love hearing that fire up like that. This is the old turn choke, friends. It's got the turn in, push and turn. Let's give it another drink and see what happens. Could just be that dry. Takes a minute to suck that fuel up in there, correct? Correct. Let's see what goes down. That's amazing. That's rare. Uno Zeduno. Now, Matt is cleaning out the gas tank on this little 76, and we're hoping he's going to send Billy Ray home with this beautiful little home light, little 76. 
she's coming. Yeah, and we got a little string on the old clutch. Somebody grabbed some string off the old swing set when they were cutting the tree down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, here we are. And there, so we piddled around on these home lights uh, for a while on that one that Maddie hung around and got this home light going for me. We, I think we played around with it for a good hour or two or three. Oh yeah, a few. We did. So anyway, thanks to Matt. Uh, Matt's getting his YouTube channel going, so we'll have to fly over and see him when he gets ready. Right, Matt? Yeah, straight. All right. Okay, thanks, Matt. Talk to you later. Right on, Matt. See you, buddy. Okay. Look at what's this guy doing in here? You're crying out loud, old man. What are you doing? I'm get started back in this place. Okay. Yeah. So now, you're telling me this is something you've had been kicking around in here and you've never fired this thing? Oh, I had it running. You had it running? Oh, yeah, a few times. A few times, yeah. I've never made a cut running. Never made a cut with it, he tells me. No, never had time. Never had time to make a cut with it. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to change that today. We're going to try it. We're going to see if it runs. And this is exciting as heck, friends. Look at this beautiful, beautiful saw. See, this is this is my kind of saw. Like, you know, I mean, it just is. It, it's it's old school. It's uh, you know, it's not real pretty and clean. It's just it's just it's gorgeous, is what it is. 77 years old, cracking away on these old McCullers. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Look at this guy, go. Look at this. These are those big carbs off. That's, those are the H, HL series. They are, yep. It's exactly what they are. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Very good. Ooh, okay. What's it hitting the top plate there? Yeah, there you go. Geez, that's a beautiful looking power saw, isn't it? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Original mount. Look at it. Oh, nice bars. Nothing too, no, nothing too crazy. Just, just beautiful, beautiful. Eh?